It is 6.54. Let's take a look at some of the stories that we're following as you head out the door today. We start this morning with Way 31's Rania Ross. Been tra tracking Huntsville City School bus routes all morning. I'm now on Mason Court, where a bus should be arriving within the next few minutes to pick students up and take them to Morris Middle School. Now, if you are still waiting for your child's bus to come pick them up, you can track it through the Safe Stop app or track it online. Will. Well, the last few buses are heading out now from the bus depot here on McJohn Street. They've been streaming out continuously throughout the morning. Now, a manager with Apple Bus tells me that they've had a smooth morning so far. This is the second year that Apple Buses has worked with Huntsville City Schools. The drivers this year are enjoying a pay raise of $20 per hour, up from $15 per hour last year. Casey. I'm here on Bluebird Avenue Avenue where just moments ago a bus arrived to pick up students and those students will be going uh, to Chapman Middle School and then they'll be starting off their new year with a brand new principal and I'll be going to other bus stops later this morning to make sure everything is running smoothly. Scotty Kay. I'm here at Creekside Elementary where Dr. Tom Sis, the Limestone County S School Superintendent, will be riding with elementary school students uh, to uh, welcome them back to school. He says it's one of his favorite parts of starting the new school year. Uh, he gets to see the excitement on these kids' faces and hear what they're looking forward to the most. He will be arriving in about 30, or excuse me, in a few minutes with those students. We're going to talk with him and see what he has to say about what they're saying about the new school year, and we'll keep you updated on that. Reporting live in Limestone County, Scotty K, Way 31 News. All right, Scotty, thanks. What a treat for him. Hey, the Huntsville City School Board voted to increase school lunches. The price is expected to go up by 30 cents. A federal regulation required them to make the change because of the cost of food is going up overall, Marie. The district also made changes to their cell phone policy. Keep in mind, students must have them turned off at all times this year. School officials say students have been warned, and if they're caught, teachers will confiscate their phones until the end of the day, and a parent will have to come to school to pick it up.